welcome back to Watch Jelly. Uh, we're here at Far East Plaza. This is Elvin. And uh, the reason why I'm here today is that many of you guys have been posting in comments over several videos uh, that you're coming to Singapore for a holiday. And where should you be going in Far East Plaza or the rest of Singapore uh, to buy washes? I assume you guys have a limited amount of time. I assume you guys just have a couple of hours. Uh, hopefully just maybe half a day to look at washes. So I strongly suggest Far East Plaza uh, because it has a good amount of shops. Uh, all concentrated in one mall. So here we are uh, at Far East Plaza. You know, Far East Plaza, you, you have more than just uh, watch shops. Here is a uh, Singapura Watches. Um, Singapura Watches itself should be facing the entrance, and uh, this should be uh, level two. They have a modest amount of watches for sale. Um, clearly, very Rolex heavy. Uh, sometimes they have occasional other models like APs, uh, but generally it's pretty Rolex heavy. So if you're into Rolex, I think Faris Plaza certainly is the mall for you to come. Next to that on level 2 is Goldman Luxury, literally next to it. So Goldman Luxury also has a lot of uh, washers itself. Uh, they have vintage stuff to the neo vintage and also very modern uh, Rolex for sale. I think for a good number of their watches, they actually do list the price, uh, the model reference and the warranty card with the year included. So I think they're pretty transparent in terms of what they show. So it's something to look at. Uh, I mean, one of the first couple of shops that you, you get to see walking into Far East Plaza. So when you come to Far East Plaza, it's not just watches, right? I mean, it's a mall that's, that you can, where you can tailor suits, you can get your nails done, you get your foot and body massages, uh, clean ones, of course. And also, I mean, you have very random fashion brands if you want to buy you know, Southeast Asian fashion, um, among other things. Also, they have great food choices. And, uh, you know, you can have like Thai food, local Singapore food, Indonesian food, Chinese food. So it's, it's a pretty nice place to stop over for just a couple of hours if you have some time to kill in Orchard Road. So, I mean, as a Singaporean myself, uh, and for those of you who, who are intending to come to Singapore after you know, not visiting or it's your first time here, suddenly it's my civic duty to also introduce you know, the, other, the other things you can do in this mall apart from just um, buying, buying watches. So here, here are just another couple of stores on level 2 and level 3. Um, I'll just let you have a look. Clearly um, very Rolex heavy as well. Um, I think you know Singapore has uh, finally opened up. So probably if you're watching this in April of 2022, fantastic. Uh, if you're here in in, in the summer, uh, certainly this is an interesting mall to come to. Apart from your usual, um, you know, luxury brand uh, malls, which you know can get pretty sterile, right? If you live in a huge city yourself, uh, where you come from. I don't think you're you're keen to look at Chanel, Gucci, etc. So I think this is a more interesting mall that is pretty local uh, in terms of uh, the, the things that they offer within the mall itself. So certainly drop by, you know, try some of the local food, and you'll be surprised at how f how cheap food options and food and beverage options are in in the place. Uh, given that we are in a prime location in Orchard Road in Singapore, the shopping belt, right, the key shopping belt. I would say that uh, definitely take the time to explore level 2. Uh, the watches here are pretty interesting. Um, you can just go in and take a look. It's filming outside if you want to for your vlogs. Shouldn't be an issue. I think the shop owners are generally quite nice. So I think one thing that I need to mention is um, apart from, you know, obviously foot reflexology and, and other and the massages, I'm here today at the end to also buy a Rolex myself. So if you stay to the end, you'll see me actually buying a Rolex in one of the stores, which I recommend. Uh, they are on level 4. So we are on level 4 actually. Um, so at the end of the video, if you stay tuned, you go to a shop that I personally shop at. And I just bought something on the 20th of April. So it's something for you to consider. I think that their prices are quite fair, generally speaking.
the place I'm talking about is Watch Exchange. Uh, Watch Exchange is on level 4. Uh, if you go in, uh, they should be open during the day until about 7pm on most days. Uh, clearly, they put a lot of their models, uh, primarily Rolex, uh, at the window. So, I mean, this should be a good enough draw to draw you into the store to have a chat with these guys, right? To really understand the prices. So I think a couple of guys in there, Alan and William, they're, they're really friendly dudes. So definitely do, do chat them um, and they'll serve you uh, with a bright smile and, and they are really helpful people. So I think a key thing to ask as well, as in, I think the prices are reasonable. Uh, I think these guys, they are very in tune with uh, prices in Hong Kong, which is another major city in Asia. And so I think they pack their prices pretty in line with uh, Hong Kong watch prices. Um, so I think uh, if you look at the, the amount of watches, that on, if you look at the amount of watches on display here, I personally just bought one of the watches on the screen here. Uh, if you stay towards the end, you'll see for yourself what that model actually is. So lots of APs, uh, Rolexes of course, uh, Nautilus. So this is my white gold Daytona. I was trying to ask if uh, I could have, I could trade up for a rose gold with some money added on. And as you can see inside the store, there are tons of Rolex watches for sale, uh, even the newer vintage ones. Here's me back home with my Yacht Master 126622. Love this watch. I've talked about it in my previous video. So definitely watch that if you're keen to understand why I love this watch. And I finally got this at a fantastic price. Thank you, Watch Exchange. You guys are awesome. So that's all for this video, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we'll be uploading regularly uh, from now on. So thank you all. And don't forget to keep watching Daddy.